welcome to the Nothing New News Show. I'm Hannah Miller. And I'm Nolan Brown. We have a good lineup of news stories for you tonight, from a controversial Indian diplomat to a heart-melting story of a dog rescue. A former government official from India in New York City, Devyani Kobdagade, has left the United States after being arrested and strip searched. She has recently been in the news when a controversy arose around the matters of her arrest. Cobregade was arrested on December 12th in New York City after it was found that she had written a second secret employment contract with her domestic worker, Sangeet Richard. Cobregade was allegedly strip searched, which the Indian government has said was a barbaric action. Hopefully the return of Cobregade to India will cool off this situation. The hope for a ceasefire in South Sudan is quickly dimming as violence and conflict continues. The White Army, a group of an estimated 25,000 youths, marched toward the city of Bor on December 28th. This army is accused of being loyal to former Vice President Raik Machard and gets their name White Army because of the white ashes they put on their skin to protect against insects. Violence has been developing since December 15th when former Vice President Raik Machar was accused of attempting a coup against the South Sudan government. Since then, violence has been growing and fighting has left thousands dead and more than 120,000 people displaced. A lightning strike in Argentina kills three and injures 22 others. One person tells reporters that when he saw his friend collapse, he called an ambulance. When they arrived, they had told us that he had died. The storm struck a seaside community via Giselle, which is located about 230 miles southeast of the country's capital. Aside from the three dead, 16 adults and six children were injured. And now on to Chrissy Osgood and Daniel Gordon with more news. Hello, I'm Daniel Gordon. And I'm Chrissy Osgood. According to Target, personal information such as addresses, emails, and phone numbers was stolen from as many as 70 million customers. Previously, the retail giant had announced that 40 million credit and debit cards may have been affected from a security breach November 27th and December 15th. Target now says that information stolen is not a new breach but was discovered during further investigation. The federal government declared a state of emergency for West Virginia early Friday morning. Over 100,000 residents are without water and 200,000 more people and businesses have been affected due to a large chemical spill into the Elk River in Charleston. The spill occurred Thursday, covering the immediate area around the treatment plant in a pungent cough syrup-like scent. A tank began leaking and overran a containment area, spilling into the Elk River. All water has been shut off in Charleston and surrounding counties as a precautionary measure. It is unclear if the water has been contaminated to unsafe levels. It is uncertain how long the advisory will last and residents will be without water until the river is tested and flushed. Freedom Industries, who own the treatment plant, has yet to comment on the issue. Wearable computing. Is it just an in and out fad or will it become a part of everyday life? The new Galaxy Gear by Samsung did not do as well as expected and received lots of feedback. Samsung expects to improve the design and battery life. Intel has created a computer the size of an SD card. It has the full capacity of any other normal computer and has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. It also has a real-time input-output controller for use with external devices. If you've ever heard of something called a heads-up display, well, Innovega is working on a version called iOptics. It works by using contact lenses and glasses that filter out light and project the images right into, the, into your eyes. They're awaiting FDA approval. And now, for sports. While the New York Knicks a record may show it, they are a better team when they play the Miami Heat, who are the 2013 NBA champions. The Knicks, a measly 13-22 and 22 this season, beat the Heat in Thursday night's matchup. The Knicks have won four out of five of the last matchups against LeBron James in the Heat. If only the fire underneath the, Nick, underneath the Knicks could light up against any of the other teams, they would be unstoppable in the other NBA. Welcome back. I'm Johnny Hayes with another sports story. Major League Baseball announces there will be three players going to the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and Frank Thomas are the new inductees. Maddox and Glavin are well-known pitchers with the Atlanta Braves and Frank Thomas is known as a first baseman with the Chicago White Sox. 
Houston Astros infielder Craig Biggio won't be in the hall as he falls two votes short with 427 votes. The induction will be July 27th and joining them are three managers. Bobby Cox for the Braves, Tony La Russa of the St. Louis Cardinals, and New York Yankees' Joe Torre. Now, here's Kara Ann Doherty with the weather. Putney, Vermont is experiencing pleasant temperatures today in comparison to the single-digit temperatures of the past week. It will be cloudy throughout the day with the temperatures rising rapidly. The current temperature is 14 degrees. Midday should reach around 30, 34 degrees later this evening. Temperatures are foreseen to decrease to the mid-20s. Within the next hour, the light snow showers should taper off. There is a 40% chance of snow showers during the midday, as well as a 50% chance of precipitation tonight. Putney residents should be cautioned of the chance of freezing rain after midnight. To finish tonight's broadcast, we have some great stories about animals. Zoos in New York are bringing smiles to animal lovers everywhere. The zoos acquired new animals, a snow leopard, a spotted newt, a pint-sized deer, and a big-headed turtle. The snow leopards are critically endangered, and it is important and a rare sight to see them in person. The Chrysler New is extremely rare and known to be extinct in the wild. The 14-inch deer from Chile will bark when it senses fear. The turtle from China is endangered because of poaching, since its big head can't fit into its shell for it to hide. Dog lovers took to Facebook to voice their rage after Emilio Vicali, owner of Oxford Hero Builders, started selling a puppy doe figurine with 10% going to animal welfare. One commenter on the Justice for Puppy Doe Facebook page says, Why do people try to make money off tragedies? I wish the world was rid of people like those psycho torture her and those who take advantage after the fact. Scum. Vicali says that he is giving a donation to animal welfare agencies and got the idea of the figurine from a local author who was writing a book about the case last week. But Vicali says, of course, it has to be a controversy. We're just trying to break even. We're, at, we're a company that makes products, not a nonprofit, Vicali said. A firefighter from Boston was brave enough to rescue a dog that fell into cold water at Pleasure Bay. The dog was a 13-year-old husky named Sylvie. The firefighter that rescued her is Sean P. Cole, who is 17 years old and a vet. Cole was afraid when he got, was getting closer because he could see Sylvie being frozen and really scared. The husky had been in the 20 degree water for an, half an hour. Her time is running short if, if it wasn't for this hero. This is the second time Cole rescues a dog. The other time was in the summer. The message Cole wants to send is that pets are citizens as well. No matter if you're two or four legged, you have a lot of importance and will get out of trouble to be safe. This is Johnny Hayes and Carol Doherty signing off for Nothing New News. Thank you for watching.